Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. So in this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. I wanted to take a question from Twitter. Uh, now, I've actually been chatting to Lucas in email anyway about this function um, and something that I recommend on, on Twitter. Uh, he asked a question, I can't choose between Google Keep and Evernote. Such a tough choice. I like Google Keep because it integrates with Docs and it's simple. I like Evernote because it's organization and capability. I'm also quite the Google Drive user. Perhaps you could help me make the right choice. Now, Lucas also explained that he's trying to like comprehend whether he should go with Evernote uh, and another service uh, on the side, like a word processing service. So I wanted to talk about this as a whole, as a big picture, because I know that a lot of people, I get a lot of these questions about, you know, why do you use a word processor and a note taker at the same time? And I think it's valuable to understand that sort of process. So I personally use Google um, Drive as my storage experience. Inside of that storage experience, I use a word processor called Google Docs. Now, both are very handy. I like to use Google Drive for storing files and documents and really anything videos. It can be multimedia. And then I like to use the Google Docs function to create the likes of documents, proposals, you know, things that are going to be longer than a page, really, which is sort of my go-to rule. When it comes to Evernote, I obviously use Evernote on the side, but I use that for like notes, specific storage about certain things, uh, ideas, you know, planning things, uh, you know, I like anything really, visual stuff as well. And I find that Evernote is easy to access and is perfect for anything lower than one page. That's sort of my go-to rule there. So you can use the likes of Evernote and a word pro processor in tandem. Of course, they both have almost completely different experiences. So it's something that you just need to make sure that you know. So for example, in Lucas's situation, he said, um, you know, it's it's better for making uh, things in school. Like he, he wants to w understand that in the school context. So for example, in a school context, coming from there, I would use Evernote to organize my notes, lecture notes and things like that, because they're not going to be longer than a page necessarily. Um, and on the Google Drive side, I would use it to store like other things like videos and information around college and school, maybe even official documents that I know I'm going to find later. Uh, but I would mainly use it for word processing. So I would actually create my coursework on there and share it with my classmates to do that work. So, you know, I would say that Evernote is a way to organize your college experience and Google Drive and Google Docs is a way to sort of word processes and get things uh, read like like created i guess from the start no naturally you can create you could probably like correlate everything into evernote however there are some difficulties with that so for example if you're writing coursework in there fantastic if you want to use it like a portal to write coursework but when you want to export it it becomes a lot harder and if you want to share it with a team the editing functions. Not many people do have uh, the premium version of Evernote, so they can't go in and edit that. So naturally, Google Drive works better in the collaborative abilities. So as you can imagine, you know this is something that, uh, in a context of work, I still think you know having an Evernote and a Google Drive is important. Um, you know, there's a co there's other services. So for example, Dropbox is one of those. However, it doesn't have a um, word processing function alongside it, which makes it a bit harder. It does have Dropbox Paper, which maybe overcomplicates it because you've got Dropbox Paper and Evernote, which are very similar services in some extent. So actually having uh, Evernote and Google Drive actually complement each other really well. Obviously, they've got that integration as well, so it makes it even easier to uh, like mention Google Docs or any Google Shoots or PowerPoint into the likes of um, Evernote. So it's actually very easy to get on with. Anyway, guys, I hope that gave you a bit of context about how I use Evernote and Google Drive and how you can be using Evernote and Google Drive together. Now, it's not, you know, I would say in one of these experiences, you don't necessarily have to stick with one. Uh, there can be a multitude of experiences, and that's why they have the integration there. Anyway, I just want to thank Lucas uh, for allowing me to feature this question. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be chatting with a lot of you guys in the email, so I'm starting to pull out a few questions that are common uh, and also sharing them here. But if you have a specific question that you would like to ask, feel free to add them in the, in the comments below. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I'm trying to, uh, you know, boost my YouTube presence, so feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in the near future. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.